Man, I hate sitting in front of the camera and just recording. Let's probably turn the light on. Um, okay. So I want to do a channel update. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is kind of a, a, a life update, okay? As you guys know, I have a full-time job. I don't do this for a living. I don't do YouTube. I don't do streaming for a living. I have a job that helps me pay for all this stuff that I used to stream and help me, you know, do the redeeming gift cards or whatever for rupees on Twitch. First thing I want to talk about is that I'm getting a new job. So that job starts October 7th. So when that new job starts, I have no idea what my streaming schedule is gonna be like. So I'm going from a 12 hour job that's two days on, two days off to a five days a week, eight hour job. The biggest difference is I don't know my schedule yet, but they told me it's gonna be mainly evenings and weekends. So because of that, I have no idea what my stream schedule is gonna be. I don't know my upload schedule. I still wanna to try to upload regularly. I still wanna to try to stream regularly, but just a heads up, I have no idea. All right, uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is family friendly, okay? So for a long time, a lot of you guys know me as being family, family friendly. If you're OG, like, you know, like Split and some of my IRL friends, you guys remember me at one point being not family friendly, okay? What I wanna talk about is how I became family friendly and what I plan on doing in the future. I became family friendly uh, because I was inspired by Nick A30 to be family friendly. You know, it was Fortnite, it's a kid's game, a lot of kids are watching, you know, it only makes sense to be family friendly. I've been doing that for a while and like slowly I've been realizing, you know, that's not my natural personality. My natural personality outside of outside of streaming is being not family friendly, quote unquote. And that doesn't necessarily mean swearing left and right. A lot of my humor comes from adult sarcasm, humor, you know, and every now and then, you know, there's still a swear word here and there. And I don't want to change that just because I'm on, on camera. So October 25th, which is the day Call of Duty comes out. I will no longer be considered or labeled as family friendly. Now, that doesn't mean, oh no, Sharp's gonna swear every other word, no. It means I'm just taking the label of being family friendly off my stream. The mature content filter is gonna be on on Twitch. YouTube will still be censored. I'd like to compare it to Tim the Tatman. So he just tries not to swear a lot on stream and stuff like that. So that's the kind of streamer I wanna be. Not a forced family friendly, if that makes sense. If you guys can only watch me because I'm family friendly, I'm sorry, we're on October 25th. When the new Call of Duty comes out, no more family friendly. Label, quote unquote. My head is cut off. Oh well. Another reason, a lot of my community is kids because I'm family friendly, a lot of kids watch. Uh, and because of that reason, when I stream, I, st I stream during the day. I can't afford to stream at night because I have to work up, wake up really early to go to work. A lot of my streams are during the day and a lot of those kids are in school. I'm hoping, or at least I'm thinking, that when I take the family friendly label off, a lot more, you know, either older kids or adults or even kids that don't, like their parents don't care if they watch like anything with like swear words or anything like that or not family friendly. That's another reason. I wanna, I wanna start expanding my community outside of kids. I don't wanna be known as a channel that only kids watch, you know? I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. I just think for, for me, my personality, and for who I wanna be, I think that's the right path for me. And the last thing I wanna talk about is what games I'm playing. So right now I'm in a gaming rut, so to speak. So I don't know what to play on stream. The only game I'm really having fun with right now is World of Warcraft. And I know, oh my God, World of Warcraft is boring. Shut up, I don't care. I'm just the only game I'm having fun with. Now that doesn't mean I'm not gonna play Fortnite. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna play Siege, you know, games here and there. October 25th, it's gonna be straight COD. But up until then, I'll probably try to stream Fortnite for like three hours, play some random duos. I don't know, maybe wild streams, just chill, you know, hang out. Um, until Call of Duty. When Call of Duty comes out, we'll be grinding. I've been playing Call of Duty for 12, over 12 years, okay? COD 4, that was my first Call of Duty. Now I played COD 3 at some friend's house, but I didn't get, I didn't own a COD until COD 4. So that's over 12 years. I played every Call of Duty since, given that Black Ops 4, I didn't really play that much because Fortnite was big and I didn't wanna, you know, ruin my channel. But at this point, man, I don't care. We're gonna go back to the roots, play COD, get some good videos, get some good content, bring it all back. To where it began. Now, if you guys made it to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know by dropping a like. I'm sure if you're watching a channel that you're already subscribed. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. If anybody that's still here, let me know. Let me know you watch this video in the comment section so I know who to thank when I see y'all in the stream. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I need a gun. Let me run through. Nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We were right next to each other! <laughs> How did I get sniped?